Woo. Good morning. This video is going to be less than three minutes. I, ooh, um, oh, first computer gone. I gave it to my baby. Anyway, this dreams, never let go of your dreams. I don't think I could have walked near at a better time and seen because of the dream that I had the other night. And I put it on there and I said, I had a dream. I'm not going to tell it right now because I'm getting ready to go somewhere. It's about 8.30 in the morning and I had some good sleep. What am I looking for? I'm looking for something for Jacqueline. Hold on, J J J J J Jacqueline. <laughs> you asked me something and this is what you asked me for. This is the name of the book. It's called Jesus Calling and it's by Sarah Young. And I believe I got this from Walmart. And uh, you can get it from Walmart. You can order it. Go on Walmart's website or or whatever. Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. But that ain't the reason I'm making this video. Check it out. All things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So check this out. <laughs> I feel so good. Anyway, I'm going to tell the dream. I'm going to tell it. And my sister said, write it down. So I'm going to write it down. And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not going to say it until I write it down. And I'm going to sit there and I'm going to ask God to bring every detail that I could possibly come up with back to remember is right. But anyway, it's because of what happened yesterday. The dream came true. The dream came true. I was in the kitchen a minute ago and I heard the Joseph anointing in my ear. And I'm not being corny and I'm not being cheesy and I'm not saying nothing special about me whatsoever. But God has given me, I'm a dreamer, dude. That's that's my thing. I dream, I dream, and he shows me things and, and, and they come. I told my wife the other day, they come true. That's why the dream that I had last week about going to jail, check it out. I'm not going to go there, but it was because of what happened yesterday. If I didn't hold my ground, if I didn't stand firm, if I didn't, you have to be prepared. God was warning me about something that could have happened and it didn't and I'm so thankful and it's just because of the humbleness and humility and the quietness and the stillness dude straight up sometimes when somebody's raw roaring in your face like a lion dude you gotta stand there and just <laughs> whatever caught me at a good moment buddy but anyway the other day the other day when I got out of court I walked out of court and I walked downstairs and the moment I was walking out of the door, I seen these two people out there, Tim and this lady. I, and the only reason I know his name is Tim because he told me it was two people out there and they were praying for people. And they had this little table set up and they had all these little things on there. They was like, you can have whatever you want. I'm like, I got almost everything you got on this table. But you had one thing that I want and it was the name of your church. So this morning when I woke up, and you're going to understand later when I make the video why I'm doing what I'm doing now. I woke up this morning at about 8 o'clock and I'm like, God, dude, I ain't going to lie. I woke up, my back was hurt. I'm like, oh, you know how you're rolling out of bed like, oh, pain in my membrane, right? The first thing, the first thing that popped in my mind was church. Very first thing. And it, and it was Amanda. Dude, I'm dead serious. I just woke up. And the first thing that popped in my mind was the text that Amanda sent about the church that she said that she found with Jermaine, Jimmy, and Amanda, right? So check it out. That's the first thing that popped in my mind. Why? I don't know. So I'm walking through my hallway and I'm like, God, it brought back to my remembrance something. It brought back Tim, this man. I work with a dude named Tim every day. So that ain't got none of it. But anyway, I'm going to church. I'm going to this church that that man prayed for me. And there's, and this is the name of the church. Mosaic Community Church. And it's right on the west side of Joliet. And I was looking at the address. It's 191 South Larkin. And some people think I'm a little over the edge with it when I, when I do these, these number things just, 
it's the way God speaks to me, dude. It's one of many. But I was like, one plus nine plus one is 11. And whatever. To me, that means something. So either way, I'm about to take a shower. I'm about to get dressed. And I'm about to go to this church. And I can't wait to get there. And I wanted to tell everybody good morning. God bless you. I hope that you are on your way to go spend time and, and fellowship with your brothers and sisters in Christ because that's something that God has really, and, and like uh, our sister said, I told somebody the same thing she said to me yesterday. My daughter, I said, dude, God is doing something. And I told Renee at work, this young man that we've been uh, helping get uh, lead, him to the, lead him to the Lord, right? God is doing something with our hearts right now. And he's bringing his people back together. He's not just on this channel. I'm talking about out here in this world. People are coming out and going in. It's time to start fellowshipping and being around our brothers and sisters in Christ. Because we need to be strong for what is coming. Dude, we need to be strong. And I'm not going to say that one more time. Because of what is coming. Something is coming that is going to change everything and it is not going to be for the good so we have to be a strong body and be prepared for what is coming and and i'm not trying to get off uh i don't want nobody getting off key with that like like fear or nothing no it is the absence of fear it is the confidence that we have in our lord jesus and it isn't and it isn't us being the lying the lion and the lamb it is us being the lamb. You feel what I'm saying? It is us being his sheep. It is us being led by the lion. You get what I'm saying? So I love you guys. God bless you. I'm about to get ready really quick. And I'm going up here. And I'm going to make a little video when I get up there. I've never been to this church. And I can't wait to get up there. And uh, remember this movie. I told you guys about this movie. And now I don't got a TV no more. Like I got a TV in there, but it's just TV. It ain't got it ain't a smart TV. It's just got that and the DVD player with all the little Christian movies and stuff I got. But anyway, my other TV was a smart TV. It had Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, Tubi, whatever, everything you could think of on it. That you know when you're sitting there and you're flipping through T and you're like, I can't find a movie because you don't watch everything on the planet. It's time for that to go, dude. And it's time for us to dig into God's word period i told somebody the other day i traded my 55 inch for a 10 by two, uh 10 by 8 inch you feel me and that's the bible that's the bible so check it out what was i about to say this thing popped in my mind too and i'm about to let you go in the movie john light and it's on tubi t-u-b-i you can download it on your phone for free it, and, it, and you go to the faith-based part, and it has all these Christian movies on there. And I, this one movie, dude, I related to this young, this not young man, this man with tattoos all over and, and uh, tattoos all over his face. And uh, he had just got out of prison, and he was trying to find a place to go to church. And everybody was treating him like garbage and, and uh, pointing out all his little, every little thing about his, you know, outside appearance. And they weren't letting him speak dude and at the very end of the movie he walked into this church and they treated him exactly the way that God wants us to be treated by our brothers and sisters in Christ with love with real love not that counterfeit love and you know the crazy part about that is because we know that love we know Jesus is love we know it. We know his love and we know when we're when when someone's trying to give us that counterfeit love. Like, dude, this ain't this ain't Jesus love. I don't know what this is, but it's not heavenly love, dude. This is some counterfeit, false, fake love, dude. So the movie is called John Light. And I promise you. That is exactly what is going on in my life right now. The way that that whole movie went is exactly what's going on right now in my life. And I, I'm almost confident, dude, that when I walk into this place, I'm going to get received with nothing but love. And it's just because of the man that I met outside that day, outside the court the other day. 
Go to where people love you and receive you for who you are, not for how you look or how you're dressed or, or what kind of tattoos or earrings or what kind of uh, scars or whatever you got, do. Go. You'll know it when you find it. You'll know it when you find it. I love you. And uh, I should be making another video very shortly in the next two hours. And it's going to be a short one. It's just going to be a little pan around to see, show you guys what I'm looking at. But anyway, I love you. And uh, Jacqueline, I wanted to make sure that you got that book. And I wanted you to make sure that I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you, sister. I'm listening. So anyway, I love you. And Sonny, I love you. And J Jermaine, all y'all, man, I love you. And my brother in Michigan. I don't know your name, King David, but I watched one of your videos the other day so I could kind of see who you were. And it was about the book of Ezekiel, the wheel within a wheel. And uh, I just wanted to tell you, God bless you. Good morning. And I hope that you are having a blessed morning too. We have to get around our brothers and sisters in Christ. This is this time right now, we have to be fellowshipping with our brothers and sisters in Christ. And that, that that doesn't just mean this, dude. This is this is one what we need to be around. We need to be able to touch, feel, taste. You get what I'm saying? We need to be around our brothers and sisters in Christ. So I love you guys. God bless you. And remember, getting out of the house and getting around other people and, and, and going somewhere. And if you can't go nowhere, if you can't go nowhere, this is for the people that may not just be able to go nowhere. We're coming to you. I love you in Jesus' name, amen.